Hi and welcome, my name is 1xEach and this is going to be the first part of a six part tutorial series about X Rebirth. So in this tutorial I'm going to explain to you the six major parts in X Rebirth. This first part is going to be about the UI, my thoughts on the game and the map and everything that you need to do and the controls and everything you need to know to get started. Then the second part is going to be about container scanning, which I consider to be the easiest way to earn money early game. And the, the third part is going to be about uh, capturing ships, because once you've earned some money with scanning and picking up containers and materials and whatnot, this is going to be the fastest way to earn money, at least right now. And then I'm going to uh, talk about trading and the fourth part because right now trading is bugged so I'm hoping once I get to part 4 it's gonna be fixed if not I'm gonna push it back a little further then the fifth part is gonna be about mining which is pretty straightforward pretty easy you can automate it really well and then the last part is gonna be about station building because it is or at least has been in the other parts of the X series the most complex but also the most rewarding part of the games. So for now let's start with UI. Uh, actually let's start with the controls. So as you can see um, you have a free cursor. If you press space you can turn around like that. Then like in all X games uh, X changes the acceleration like the positive acceleration. Z slows you down or even gives you negative acceleration. With uh, backstab, backstab back space like the, the thing where you delete delete stuff uh, gives you null acceleration so you don't move at all tab gives you max acceleration if you keep tab pressed you go faster than max pretty straightforward and then the most important thing you need to know is enter which gets you the menu where uh, which you see down here if you press one you get into the modes scanning modes like station scan mode cargo collect mode mining mode I'm gonna get into those a little later. For now, um, you just know, need to know that there's different modes you can enter into. Then two gives you the info thing where you can press, for example, my own status, which would be one, which gives you an overview of your credits and who you are and your standing with all the races and whatnot. So let's go back and press two to get to the property owned where you can see your different ships I have the Albion Skunk, of course, your ship, then a Fed Helm, which is my miner, and the construction vessel, which is bugged right now. So, there you can see what you own. Ship status gives this the status of your Albion Skunk. You can see your hull, your shields, engines, jump drive, yes, no, I have none, radar range, whatever. Whatever you have uh, drone wise and uh, missile wise is down here got some missiles here yeah so that's basically it. So then if you press 5 you go to the mission manager see the missions you have that's the main mission right now I don't have any other missions like the plot mission is the 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 one right here so let's go back if you press 3 you get to the maps so I'm gonna cover those in a different way, but you, if you wanna, you can access them uh, wire, uh, via uh, enter and then pressing three. So then the trading menu. Also, I would advise you to use Shift T if you wanna enter into that, and then you can see your crew with five, which makes you stand up and go back here, and you can see all the guys you have. So I have an engineer, a manager, which I don't know what she does. I have a pilot and I have two marine officers. I've seen uh, people wondering on the forums how you can get two. Um, it's pretty easy. You just hire one and when you want to hire the next one you just tell her to not work on your ship but somewhere else and then she's just gonna walk into your ship and you can drop her, out, drop her off wherever you want. She's not gonna show you her skills if you do that but you are gonna see the skills of the first marine officer you hire and as I said in the in the other tutorial which uh, I already uploaded is that you need to watch out that you have at least one star in boarding experience for those guys 
The other ones, I don't really know if, like for the engineer, if the stars do anything, uh, I don't know, probably. If you get hurt, it's gonna repair faster, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. How fast that goes, I, at least in my experience, you can still shoot, your shields still, still work, they're just probably not as effective. So, as I said, you can uh, get into the map system if you press enter and then 3. But I'm not going to do that. You can use the uh, period or point or whatever and the comma keys to enter into this. If you press the point or uh, period thing, you're going to get into the zone map, which is the zone you're in, like right now. But the map is pretty difficult, so I'm going to explain this differently. I'm going to press comma and I'm going to go to the system and then to the galaxy. So this is like the, the topmost uh, map you have. You see the galaxy right now. I only have Albion, which we started in, and then the Vries. You can click up here to change. I'm going to use the Vries as an example to explain this, this map system. So if I click the Vries, you clicked uh, that galaxy, and then you press System. So now we're going to go one, one step lower. So now we're going to see, you can't click here either, which is kind of stupid, but you can. You have to use those on the right. And then you can change to this different systems. And once you've selected one, you can uh, click on sector to go another layer deeper. And only here can you select plot course. Like if you want to wanna know how to get there, now you could press plot course or press 3. And just like with the missions, it's going to direct you there then with the uh, orange uh, arrow. So we're still not in the zone, on the zone level. Also here, which is kind of interesting, you can see what kind of minerals are here. Which is really, I mean, for mining later on, it's going to be really, really interesting to know that. So let's just pick, um, I don't know, Crimson Rocks, doesn't really matter, and go and click zone since there's nothing in this zone just the highways you won't see anything here so let's go back sector and let's even go back to the system and click at glaring truth that's where we are right now click on sector and then darn hot air for example which is where uh, I think one of my miners is right now we're gonna click zone and we're gonna see everything that's here that's uh, the shipyard I think Actually, the map is really weird. If I click on this, it's not going to show me. But if you click on the plus sign here, you can get even lower. And the the colors are really stupid to, to see here. I don't know why or who thought it'd be good a good idea. I also wish they would uh, change this to not be transparent. Because the, the uh, sun in the background is really making it difficult to see anything. But they decided to do that, so whatever. Also, if you want to talk to your ships or talk to anyone here, you can. You can just press COM and talk to the ships. So that's basically how the map wor works. Again, real quick. Top layer, all the galaxies getting into a system. You just click system. Then you can see all the sectors in this system. You choose one, press sector, and then you go one layer more, like down or whatever. Then you can choose the different zones in the sectors. Which, uh, it's really confusing, even to me. I just, uh, I don't know, it's it's weird. Even I, I got I got used to this by now, but it's still still not really the most convenient way to, to be navigating around. Because sometimes it would just like a map where I kind of click somewhere and then that's where I want to go. Show me how I get there. And this is really clunky to use. But I guess they thought it would be, would be a good idea. So now that I've shown you the map, I think uh, the next thing would be station scanning. Again, I'm just pressing tab to go faster. So in this game, if you want to trade or if you want to find a place to dock, you got to fly around the stations and find things you, uh, you want to scan. Like right here, for example, this eye isn't scanned yet. So I'm going to fly close to it. And at some point, it's going to light up. This shows you that you've scanned it. And this one isn't scanned either, even though I'm sure I've scanned those before. So now you have uh, unlocked some kind of information about this, 
this station, which is going to give you some benefits, like trading uh, discounts. I haven't really noticed that, but they tell you that's how it works, so I'm going to trust them, I guess. Sometimes you see uh, those kind of symbols, which are places to dock. And it's really annoying that I can't dock from here. I mean, wouldn't it be convenient to just double click it now and then have the ship fly there automatically? No, you have to be go really fucking close to like right now I can finally dock. So if you want to dock, you double click that and then you can dock. Really, really weird. And then there's one more sign that you can sometimes see, which is mission signs. There is skulls, there is like... Uh, briefcases I guess and then there's one more which I forgot right now so the briefcases are trading the skulls are like uh, kill this and that missions or escort missions or I think that's actually it kill or escort are the two I have seen right now so of course I don't find one right now but that gives me time to talk about the game in general so as I said there is tons and tons of bugs right now, which is <laughs> like like a trademark of Egosoft, I guess. Every single game they publish is bugged in the beginning. And they need at least a month or two or three or maybe even half a year to fix all of them and to make it actually playable. I hope it's going to be quicker this time. But, well, all of the games isn't true. X Beyond the Frontier was pretty good at, at launch. But that was like 10 years ago or even even longer, I guess. I'd have to look it up, but I think that might have been even 15 years ago. Anyway, I'm getting old, I guess. So, um, one thing I really... Ev even with the bugs and all gone, I think some things are just... It's just the wrong concept. Like, for example, getting the menu on enter and then having to press something and then pressing something else and then you look to your side and then this pops up which is even bugged sometimes it just doesn't come up and you have to like enter a station and then teleport back it's just weird some other bugs here but um, even with all the bugs gone I think that is pretty bad for a PC game I can see how this is good for like consoles or whatever which I, I bet they had in mind when designing this. But for a computer game, this is just stupid. Why can't I just press a button and get into that uh, that screen and, and click whatever, yeah? I, I mean, who thought that was a good idea to design everything to be comp compatible to a console? That's just annoying to us PC gamers. And I can see how they want to want to expand their market and whatever, but this is just ridiculous. So one thing I forgot was the trade menu. Shift T gets you directly to the trade window, which I'm going to cover in detail uh, in the in the trading tutorial. But for now, I wanted to to mention Shift T opens that up, which is uh, pretty good actually that they have a shortcut for that. And uh, I mean, pretty good. It's it's ridiculous. Usually in other games, you just press I and the inventory pops up. Nope, can't do that here. What actually happens happens if I press I? Nothing happens. Usually in other X games, you would open up. Uh, I think R was your property and U was information, so maybe I have to select something. U, I. Oh, actually, if you select something and press I, you get the information. Yeah, so still, it's it's just weird. Why would I have to turn there and do that? Why, if I want to manage my people, do I have to press enter, press info? Oh no, press enter, press five. And then I have to get up to talk to my crew. That's just weird. Who, why? 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 Why is that here? That doesn't even make any sense. And if I want to go back, I have to either press that, press that, or press enter and find. It's just what? Who thought that was a good idea, huh? So basically, what I'm saying is, if the bugs are gone and if the performance is good, this game is still not really what I would have expected. I would have expected like some of the menus gone but not all of them. It's like probably someone thought immersion would be good but oh there's a mission sign by the way this is the skull which uh, gives you a mission Let's and again I have to fly really close just to activate this. So what is it? So I unlocked a commission great whatever. Cartel raid incoming. Okay, so 
some mission, whatever. Yeah, so, as I said, even with the bugs and the performance issues gone, the UI and the interface is uh, still lackluster, to say the least. I just... I can't say anything good about the UI, I just don't like it, maybe I'll get used to it. But, um, for example, I'm going to show you one more thing. It's like, if I want to manage my my ship building, or my, my uh, station building thing. So I'm going to go to the... Actually, let me show this and not do it while I'm talking. So I have to press enter, then I have to press 2 for info, 2 again for property own, just to get into the menu. Then I have to use the mouse or the... Uh, yeah, the arrow keys for which I have to use or move my left hand. Use the construction vessel or the mouse and click on DE. God knows for what that stands. Press on DE and then I can see whatever here. Then I have to click the management. Then I have to choose the captain. Then I have to press details. And then I can see her budget, which is, you would think, is just, you know, telling you her budget. But no, you can click here and actually change that and adjust her budget. Which, I mean, why would it be so complicated to just give your your uh, your guy some money? And then here you can uh, delete her planned trips. You can clear all, click clear all. Once you go back, and if I click details again, it's still there. I am, that's probably a bug, but still, it's just too damn annoying to just change something somewhere with someone. It's just weird. And here, yeah, energy cells are bugged, whatever. But I think, and now, look at this. I, I'm not even really zoomed in. It just stays here. I can't really look at it. And still the thing I scanned or I'm, I, I uh, selected is right here. It's just weird. I don't know why they thought this was a good idea. Enter sometimes just opens up the menu. I don't know. I think um, this game is, uh, once, they, once they remove the bugs and the performance issues, I'm still gonna have problems controlling everything properly. And I was I was fine with the menu system in X and I understand that people didn't like it. But this is even more ridiculous. I mean the game looks cool, but not great, don't get me wrong, it's still not great, but it looks pretty good. But the UI is just terrible. I'm sorry, Egosoft, you it just is. I'm sorry. So, I think that covers most of the basics. You know how to move around, you know you need to scan stations, which is crazily annoying. And you know what you have to do. You can dock. I actually showed that in the other Let's Play parts, but let's dock for the fun of it. And um, because this video draws to an end, let's dock. Double click? Who thought double click was a good idea? What? Whatever. So, yeah, you know how to move around, and this is like on station movement. You just move here, and then you click people. You can't click guards, for example. I don't know why. It would be fun to at least be able to ask him where I have to go. No, I have to find someone to talk to first, because the guards are not going to talk to me. Why would they? Jesus. Yeah, right. But, yeah, so I think that is going to end this part of the tutorial. As I said, next part is going to come right up, which is going to be about what I say I wanted to do. Container scanning. Yeah, that's right, because it makes you quite a lot of cash pretty quickly. So, yeah, whatever. So, I guess uh, I'll end it here. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.